Hello everyone, this is Michelle with Crafting with Michelle. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator, recent one. <laughs> and I'm this is actually my first video, so bear with me. But I was looking to do a little birthday card and I was thinking spring, I'm tired of winter, and I thought this cute little chick was so cute to do it with. Um, so this is the card we're going to be working on. I'm going to do a little change to the uh, multicolored edging, you know, sponging on multicolors. But I think I'm going to stick with the um, mint macaron. So that's the card we're going to be doing. Just place that there. Supplies you're going to need is, sorry, you're going to need a card base. This card base, four and a quarter by 11. And then you score it at five and a half. So that's your card base. You're going to need pink of blushing. That's mint macaron um, paper. This is the blushing bride paper, and it's cut four inches by five and a quarter. Just adjust this for a second. Then we have whist, uh, shimmery white paper, which we have cut at uh, three and three quarters by five inches. And that's going to be the thing that we use the most. This little scrap paper is going to be used for our sentiment. And then I have two little embellishments. They're the honeycomb embellishments from the 2006 um, occasions catalog. Aren't they cute? I have them in, I took a blushing bride and a mint macaron. Macaron, however they're saying it. So those are the other two items you need. Okay, and the stamp set we're using today is from Celebrations, which is available to the 31st of um, March. And I'm using this little chicken and then I'm using a happy birthday but you can put happy Easter whatever you'd like on the card so to start out we're going to start with our memento ink I'm just going to stamp the chicken in it a little chicky make sure it's on there good a few little pats make sure it's on there cute I'm going to place that I think towards the bottom here a little bit like that Okay, I'll let that dry. We don't need this any longer. Get rid of my pad quick. Um, balloon stamp, we're going to be doing that in the Blushing Bride, which is this color. And ink that up good. Tap it lightly. This is a little juicy, these pads. So give it a nice little jump. I'm going to get a place that like so great and then I'm going to clean it off okay and then I'm going to do the same thing with the mint macaron we're going to use the same thing tap it Let's make sure you got it good give it a light touch okay there we go Okay, we'll be using these ink pads again. Leave them handy. Okay. So that's all we're going to be doing with that right now. Now we're going to be using three ink pads. So saffron. We're going to, this is so saffron, we're going to press it. And do this. We're going to do the same thing with Daffodil Delight. Can you read that? Daffodil Delight. And we'll leave it like that. And then we're going to do our tangerine tango. Okay. Our aqua painter, larger brush and a smaller. This is the larger brush. That's what we're going to be using today. So I like to get it started. I like to check it. Okay. And I'm going to start with the lighter color and just kind of start filling in the chicken. With the lightest color. Do that first. Okay. Then we're gonna take the darker color, kind of accent a little bit of that.
Okay. That's good. And now we're going to take the orange tangerine tango and just fill in the, the beak. See if my big fat hands in the way. Okay, there's our chickens. That's done. We can put these away. I'm gonna take the brushing rod. The reason I'm doing the brushing rod first is because we're doing a lot more with the um, the mint macaron. So we take the brushing rod and just see this. A little bow here, we're just gonna fill that in. Just watercolor it in a bit. You don't want to have too much water here because you know, we're just going off regular ink. Okay, so you fill that in a little bit. You can put the blush and brush in with the macaron. I'm just gonna fill this in a little bit. Slightly fill it in. Okay. Now, of course, chickies just don't stand there. We need to put some grass on. So we'll do that. It's kind of watercolor here. Doesn't need to be perfect. You're just making some grass. I'll put it in between the feet. around a little bit more. Kind of so we can oh well. That's just more of a grassy spot. Okay. There we go. So we're done with our watercolor paint there. And now the reason I did this last is because I'm gonna be sponging with it. Here's a sponge. What we do with the sponges, um you buy sponges they come in like they're round and they're quite large. So what you can do to conserve is you can cut them into these little wedges of six. Um, normally, I just started this one so I haven't had a chance to, what I do is I cut a little piece of the paper and attach it to this and write the name of the ink that I'm using on it so that each ink has its own sponge. But I just opened this one so I haven't had a chance to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna edge it. In the green, like I said, I did the original one. I did the Blushing Bride, uh, Daffodil, and Daffodil Delight, and the Mint Mac Macaron. But I feel that the um, the Mint Macaron might look better. I like to make sure you can see it. Okay. Okay. So we're done with that for a second. We'll let that continue to dry. We are now going to stamp our sentiment. Remember that scrap piece of paper we had? I'm doing a happy birthday sentiment. So I'm just going to take that in the mint macaron and put it on there. I'm taking a punch. This is a scalloped oval punch. This is the old style. I've had this forever. Right now they're, they're flat, so they look different, but uh, it does the same thing. I just love this punch. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Don't need that anymore. The reason I turn it upside down is so that I can look at my my uh, sentiment that I'm cutting out to see where it's coming out. I'm going to edge this also just because I don't want white against white per se. So I find, just edge it, it looks a little, you know, gives a little character. Okay, done with that. Close this up. I'll be watching. This is how you open and close them. Okay. Now I'm going to start to actually layer this. So we'll put the embellishments on later. So you're going to take this, this card and place it on here. Okay. So we're going to 
thicker snail adhesive. You can use the diffuse adhesive also. I just have this one handy, so this is the one I'm using. Okay, you gotta try to get it centered. Okay. And now we're gonna place it on here. Um, I was gonna pop it up, but then I thought with that the the honeycombs on it might be uh, a little too high for mailing it. So now we're just gonna take the sail adhesive and also do that. And then we'll place that on here. Okay. Now we're gonna take our these little things. So what you're going to do, there's, there, you know, the glue back, you just take the backing off of it. You're going to want to place it on the balloon about halfway in the angle that it's going. And you can take the other side off and then just punch it over like that and set it down. Okay, there you go. It's that easy. Same thing with this, you're going to take one side off. It's a common, it's a common, don't worry. There we go. Okay. Same thing, you're going to angle it so that it's kind of facing the way the balloon's facing. Take off the other side. That one came off easier, thank goodness. And kind of push it together. Kind of take the edge and snap it down. Okay. So there you go. Now we're going to take dimensionals, which these are cut because I cut them for smaller things, which you don't necessarily need for this, but since I have these cut ones, I'm going to be using them. Um, so I'm just going to put three on here, right now, like so. I don't know if you know the little trick, if you stick your finger in the center, it kind of pops up to one side, you can just peel it off really easy. That's, the, that's one of the tricks that I learned over the time from different people that I've worked with. And then you just kind of place it at the end of the balloons. You can be off center a little bit. It's just a happy card. Okay. Well, that's our card. It's a happy little card. Happy birthday. And I think it's cute for spring. So I hope you like it. I used are going to be down below in my details of this YouTube, of this video. And also you can go to my blog, which the details are also below. Thanks and look forward to doing this again with you guys. Bye.